Good evening and welcome to SAFC Fan TV and another edition of Thursday Night Live. Uh, with myself, uh, we Philly tonight. We have uh, Dino. Dino, have you had a good day? What you been up to? Nothing. I'm just kind of tired, to be fair. Night shift tonight. Oh, night shift. Um, super sexy Bowers, uh, the ladies love Hello it. Hello there. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what have you been up to today? Have you been on Tinder? You sounded, you sounded, you sounded very enthusiastic there, Phil. Um, uh, no, I've not hardly done that much. Went for a run, cut the grass, went did a bit of shopping, that's about it. Boring standard day. Um, right, also with us, uh, Jack Dodds. He's, he's obviously he's been the barber's. He's got his new haircut. Uh, what have you been up to today, Jack? Not a lot, mate. Uh, day off today. Went for a nice walk, but just be waiting for tonight, really. Uh, glad to be back on the show. I've not been on a little while on Thursday. You've not. And we have missed you. Uh, just very quickly, I'll tell you, um, uh, Jacob's down south, but uh, he's he's been working hard. Uh, Terry is still not very well. Uh, so uh, uh, Terry will uh, hopefully he'll get better soon and we can have you back on. Uh, before we do start, uh, we want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors. Of course, uh, One Football, the One Football app. It's the only football app you'll ever need. It's very detailed in there. It's great. We all use it. Uh, great for player stats and stuff like that. Anything you want to know, um, you know, assists and and the performances and stuff like that. Dino loves uh, looking into that. Uh, superb football app, uh, league tables, everything about your team, all you ever need. And it's free to download. So it's yours if you want to download it. Uh, the link is in the description. And as you said, uh, great football app. And a massive thank you to One Football uh, for supporting the channel. So uh, thanks to them uh, for doing that. Um, right then, we're going to start. Uh, we've got quite a bit to... Uh, uh, to go through. Uh, we are live, which means uh, the live chat is available to you uh, if you want to contribute uh, tonight. Uh, we, didn't do, uh, we didn't do a Sunday bunch because we did play um, on the Sunday evening. We had all sorts going on. We went out, uh, did the fan cams. And uh, so we are going to start uh, by uh, reviewing Sunday's game. Um, a 1-1 one -one draw with Northampton. Uh, I'll start with you, Michael. What, what, what did you think overall? Short answer, long answer. Oh god, that was not particularly a great game, was it? It wasn't. It certainly wasn't one for the neutrals. I don't, it felt to me, watching the game, it felt to me like it was the, t the players just kind of looked like, oh, we don't want, we don't want to risk getting tackled, injured, or suspended for the playoffs. I think me and Jack obviously had this little debate on in the review on Sunday, actually. So. I did say on a human level, I can understand that. And I think, obviously, the game's coming up are far more important than that Northampton game. But it's not an inspiring result when you're having to rescue a draw against a team that's already relegated at home as well. It is pretty poor. Um, the good thing, I suppose, is that we have... So we, obviously, the game kicks off in, pretty, um, in, in six days or so. We'll be playing. So, well, just under, just under six days or so, obviously. But um, we've got a bit of a rest for it. The game felt like a bit of a pre... I don't know about you guys. I felt it felt like a bit like the tempo of a friendly. It just felt like it was just two teams with now to play for. And I would and I think that and I think yeah, I would have liked to have seen a little more desire from the players. Even if you're not going to show it at 100 percent like get the win, get get some more momentum going. But then you look at the teams around us. I'm pretty sure. I mean, obviously Oxford won four 0 but obviously they had to win to have a chance of getting in the top six, which they've done at Pompey's expense. Blackpool only just beat bottom of the league Bristol Rovers one nil. Uh, and Lincoln drew nil nil with Wimbledon, so it's not. It wasn't as I suppose it was just one of those get through that game and then get to the real games. Well, say real games, the ones that are really important um, in six days or so. But I, I'm struggling to, to find. I'm, I'm. I don't know. I'm struggling to talk about it. The goal Northampton scored deflected. I thought Birds was a bit unlucky on that. But I don't know whether anyone's going to disagree with us on that. Um, our goal was a bit fortunate as well. The way that it hit the ball hit both posts before falling to Colt Winchester and scored, but. It was just drab. It was it was just a poor game all round, really. Um, right, fair enough. So uh, you was uh, highly unimpressed with that, then, uh, <coughs> I, I assume, Michael. Uh, quickly on the chat, let's uh, go there. Tom Wallace says, "Evening, guys, and happy new haircut, Jack, in the studio." <laughs> um, Lauren Kenny says, uh, "Where's the disco lights, Dino? Uh, Dino, where are the disco lights?" Turned off. Oh, oh, off. We see them for. He's been a party pooper there. Wouldn't like. match with that one. It wouldn't match there with that one. Uh, 
Hello, lads. Hello, Kaza. That's uh, YMC here, Tommy. Uh, says that uh, Chris Scott, uh, is, that, uh, is that a haircut, Jack, uh, when you're getting it finished? All sorts of those uh, uh, ones coming through. Tony Lee saying, Dudsy, haircut, brutal. Uh, Terry's on there as well. Uh, hi to Terry. Um, he's getting there. He's just coughing too much. He says it's annoying him, um, as we said. So uh, get well from all the team, uh, Terry. And uh, also want to give a shout out also to uh, Marianne Carlo in Boston, Massachusetts, uh, in hospital. And we are... Uh, uh, wishing you well uh, if you're uh, if you're managing to tune in uh, there, Marianne. Um, so, uh, Dino, what, what did you think to Sunderland one, Northampton one? Was was you as impressed as uh, as Michael? Well, I didn't watch it because I, I was busy that day. Um, Plastic. That's what I was, I, uh? Plastic fan. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I was, was, I was busy for the game of the season. Mostly I was I was I was supposed season. to be. I was supposed to be on one, but I, I says I was busy. Uh, but when I what I heard of the game, I mean, I heard we put out a strong team, a team which is capable of winning. We couldn't even beat a relegated Northampton. I mean, I heard we played terrible. Like Michael says, it was a boring match to watch, and it doesn't bode well for the playoffs. I mean, that game you take two ways: you either put out a strong team to win to get momentum, or you put out some of the kids to save some of, some of our important players, i.e., Charlie Wyke. Uh, Jordan Jones and them lot. He went with a fairly strong team, and we played terrible. And like, I just don't understand why you would play a strong team and not win the game. And people go, "Oh, it's a nothing game." Yeah, it's a nothing game. But if you're going to put out a strong team, you you go out to smash an already relegated team. But if you want to go against that, you could have put on some of the kids. Dan Neal, Oliver Younger, didn't happen. It just it doesn't bode well for the playoffs for the simple fact I think we're the worst form team in the playoffs, aren't we? I mean, on our form, we're like relegation form into these playoffs. I mean, it's not looking good, like it really isn't. And I think I think that game was just an absolute it was just it was just terrible. Absolute terrible. All right, so it's it's going good. Uh, back uh, back to the chat. Um Kish Cameron Jude not getting tickets for the second leg because she's going to be on holiday in Devon for two weeks. Uh, lucky thou. A um, few people saying, uh, asking Jack, where did you get your haircut? And a few people are saying, Southwick Butchers, uh, where did you get your haircut? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is going to be a Turkish theme tonight. Bar like Turkish barbers around the corner. Turkish barbers, right? All right. Um, so over to you, Jack. Then uh, Sunderland one, Northampton one. Uh, was you impressed or not impressed at all? Well, I don't think anyone would be impressed with that, really. I think I would describe it as a 70% performance. It was clear we weren't really putting every effort into winning the game. Um, and as much as a lot of people are disappointed in that because it was a good opportunity to get another win under our belts, that would have then been two in a row if it had been a strong performance as well. The confidence is just brewing going into the playoffs and you're slightly more in form than you would have been. And of course, our form as of late has been awful. Um, but in reality, I think the playoff spot confirmed. I don't think it was a huge major concern. Um, you can argue not played, you know, played Northampton twice now this season. And we haven't beat them either time. That is a bit concerning. But I think you, you look at the game itself, and I, I wasn't. Of course, I was disappointed, disappointed at the overall performance and definitely the result. I don't think it's a major worry. Um, if we, let's say, went into that game and actually gave in a hundred percent and really done absolutely everything to win the game. Um, what would he have really gained that level other than just a little bit extra momentum and a little bit more confidence? Certain players maybe you would have liked to see more out of who haven't been given loads of minutes as of late. Um, however, the ones who've been playing all season, the likes of Charlie White, etc., I can forgive them for not, you know, doing absolutely everything to win the game because we've got the playoffs coming up. And can you imagine if someone you know picked up an injury or something like that in this game going into the playoffs, especially with how many injuries we've had this season, how tough this season's been. Um, I was more glad that really we got through at the other side without any more injuries or suspensions, anything that's going to limit us even further. We've had too many injuries this season. We've had to play centre midfielders and attack midfielders in defence. We've had to play we've had to persist with McFadzi and at left back um, at times. And we've got through this final game of the season with no further uh, collateral damage in terms of injuries and stuff like that. Uh, overall, the performance, terrible, really. Didn't really create anything. Um, should have done a lot better, of course, against Northampton. Uh, if that game had been playing and there was some, something riding on it, maybe we would have done more. I don't know. But ultimately, you know, it was a drab performance. But we've just gotten better in the playoffs. Simple as that. Like I say, but with 70% performance, I didn't really see 100% effort, to be honest. 
Um, right, fair enough. Uh, we'll go back to the uh, the chat. Uh, we'll skip all the haircut ones now because as everybody's uh, um, <laughs> having a right good uh, a right good go at that. But, um, I'm just reading we'll not... through them now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh well, I was going to read them out, but I was just uh, uh, saving you. That was all. Uh, Tony Lee says uh, the form is crap. You uh, you got to agree. Uh, but let's be positive for the playoffs, and you know, let's be positive. Um, what I was going to say then, I mean, do you think? I mean, you you did touch on it, Jack, but do you think we um, we took it easy on uh, on Sunday just to avoid any unnecessary injuries and and stuff like that? Uh, before we uh, before we do go any further, uh, I want to give a shout out to Kieran Gale, who's uh, donated two pounds. Uh, via the super chat, a round of applause for him. Uh, don't forget the super chat uh, is enabled, and it's there for uh, for you if you would like to donate uh, towards the uh, growth of the channel. Uh, all uh, all funds are gratefully accepted, and it will help us uh, uh, to create better content. All you do is you hit the dollar sign uh, just below the. Uh, uh, the chat there, um, but it's purely optional. If you want to use the chat, it is free to do so. Uh, so thanks once again, uh, Kieran Gill, uh, for your donation. Uh, Dino, do you think we did just take it easy and and you know we we weren't full full steam ahead because you know the it wasn't really important that game, was it? Well. No, it's not an important game, but you go out to win every game. I mean, wh when you go out for friendlies, what do you do with friendlies for you? You go out to still win. You still get your fitness and your match sharpness while you're playing, but you, you, you go, no, no, you go, you go out to win it. No, friendly, when, when you go, like pre-season friendly, is about trying different systems and formations and, and, and different players and stuff like that. You know, I'm, I don't take too... Too much notice of results in pre in pre season, you know. It's like, uh, like I said, that that's when you use those games for, you know, for for, for trying out different things. Uh, Jack, well, I heard uh, that you stuck a five out on Will Grigg to be this season's top goal scorer after he scored one goal against Harrogate, was it? So I'm not <laughs> sure if that. Was no, I didn't do it because because he scored a goal against Harrogate. I just thought he was going to have a good season. Uh, so that was um, that was well, what I, anyway. If anyone ever gets yeah, told the lottery in. numbers, if Phil ever comes to your house and he's got the lottery numbers, ignore him, right? Well, I put a pound <laughs> bet. I put it. We was doing the uh, we was doing the live stream on Sunday, and I, I put a, a, a pound bet on, and I looked at it right at the end, and I cashed in. I actually cashed in for hundred ten hundred and ten pound. So there you go. That was uh, that was a nice little one. Right. So and but I also cashed in on Will Grigg and got. Um, I think it was 70 pence or something. Something like 15. that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, Michael, do you, do you think we just... we just? Do I not get a finish, like? Do I not get a finish? You just jump in and then just move on. Do I not get a finish? <laughs> <laughs> Let's team finish if he wants. I'll I want to hear it. Go on. I'll tell you what, Dean. I'll come around there and smash your disco lights if you carry on like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. That's a too far. Right? We don't bring the disco lights into us. Yeah. I'm telling you. That's it. Leave, right. leave the disco lights alone. Call me now. Call me now. <laughs> right, go on, Dino. Right, you are saying, um, friendlies, you do different systems. So what was yesterday's game then? Uh, yeah, it was a league <laughs> game, but it might as well have been a friendly. You might as well change something. He put yesterday, out a strong team. Sunday. Well, Sunday, whatever, I don't really care. But <laughs> at the end of the day, <laughs> that, that game was irrelevant to... That game was irrelevant, so that's the time to change things up, try something, act like a friendly game. But we put out a strong team. We put out a str a really strong team. The only player that wasn't really in there was McGeady, wasn't it? Everyone else was a first team player. Yeah, I agree. And to to be fair, I mean, I did think that um, it we I think it was important that we finished either third or fourth, so that we we get the second leg at home. And we've uh, done that. Point, so so uh, there was. I don't know. I mean, Michael, did you think we just, you know, the reason it wasn't a very good game was was the fact that we did just sit back uh, so that we didn't get any unnecessary injuries? Before, but, well, before I continue, is, has Dean finished yet? Yeah, I've finished. Right, OK. Now I can actually start talking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's got to be that. I do agree with Jack when he says it's like a 70% game because you can clearly tell that the 
the players were not, I wouldn't say not, well, not given 100% in terms that they weren't trying and not playing to the full maximum capability that they have because I do get that if you played to your maximum capability and we had three or four crucial players gone out injured because it, it would be someone's luck to do that. Um, then obviously you say, well, why did you go full throttle against Northampton and try to like get a comfortable victory? So it's hard to not feel that way when we were playing. It did look like that. Uh, I mean, the only positive I can take out of Sunday was, again, the fact that we secured a home tie, a second, a home tie in the second leg. Had, it, had, had we lost the game, we would be at home first leg. So... That's the one thing I can look at it from that perspective. In in the, in many ways, though, even if you'd put out a more reserved team, I, I know our first team didn't beat them, but I would still think that if we'd put out a reserve team, or you know, maybe it was maybe like a few reserve players in another way, should be strong enough to beat Northampton side. And I don't think as many people would be complaining about the result. I mean, Ross Stewart, I think, and I could be wrong here. I think Ross Stewart was meant to start, but apparently he was injured, so that's why Charlie White started. Uh, I could be wrong on that. That was just something I'd heard. So, I mean, the rest of it. Like I said, I was surprised that um, I was surprised that Johnson went with a first full strength of team as he did. I did think that he would give the likes of younger a go. I did think maybe even potentially Dan Neal, although I thought that was a bit less likely. But I did think we'd give, maybe give him a bit of a runabout. So, I don't know. It, it, it's a hard one to judge. I do definitely think that it we didn't. It just looked like the tempo wasn't there. The intensity wasn't there. And. As, I mean, it'd be interesting to see what you know, how Lincoln played in their draw against Wimbledon. Did did they go full? I mean, I don't know how strong a team they put out, but did they go full throttle, um, full throttle against Wimbledon? I mean, or, I mean, I've heard that Anthony Scully, one of their main players, they've rested for the playoffs. Um, so, yay, on that front. So, I don't know. Um, I would imagine so. To me, it looked that way, but others might see it differently. Um, well, if, yeah, if that's the case, if them put seventy percent, if I didn't, I want a seven, You should have. Everyone should want a seventy percent refund then, because I, I go. You watch the game for hundred percent, not seventy percent. Right. Well, you be our spokesman then, Dino, and uh, as everybody send uh, send your uh, um, your contact details to Dino, and Dino will uh, uh, get in touch with the club and see if we can all get uh, uh, get a bit of cash back. Uh, put you on, the, uh, on the chat, uh, Jeff Holcroft. Uh, Spanner Man, uh, Danny says, Dino's on raw meat. Uh, Emma Wilson says, uh, uh, it's that time of the month, Dino. I <laughs> just woke up on the wrong side. Oh, that was good. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, uh, but also, um, we want to, on a serious note, uh, DJ Sizzler Watson says, I'd like to send love and prayers to the family of uh, the Blackpool uh, boy who uh, lost his life. Jordan Banks, of course, yeah. uh, out training. Playing football on a field, struck by lightning, and uh, you know our thoughts go out to his his family. You know, very sad event. So, um, peace, man. I would say uh, thoughts go out to uh, to his his family. Um, okay, then. So, you know, did it did it matter that we didn't win? Should we have? Um, is that going to now? You know, should we have not been going? all out for that win to, to keep the continuity going. Everybody says, you know, uh, the, the team that go up through the playoffs is the form team. The, that, that team that's on a roll and then they go on it. You know, I mean, it, it seems to be like Blackpool. Blackpool have, have, you know, come from nowhere, worked their way up, and there they are. So, would it have been important for us to have a win? Who's laughing? Who's laughing? I've been laughing for about 10 minutes it's someone in my that? household. It's someone in my household who's, who's got a bit of a loud laugh. All right. Are you telling your joke? I'll mute myself for a bit. That's uh, Michael's oh, God, obviously. Wouldn't, wouldn't be laughing at those, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> um, should, should we have got the win? Would that have helped a bit of momentum? Or, or does that not really matter? Because the playoffs are a whole new ball game. Oh, no. Karen's laughing now. Uh, uh, Michael, un unmute yourself and tell us, um, you know, is it important to get that uh, momentum or is it just the fact that the uh, um, the playoffs are, like I said, they're all, it's a new thing in it, new game? I'd rather we went, in, I'd rather we went into the playoffs with good, with better momentum. Um, I mean, I will point out, I think in Lincoln's last five, because everyone says that um, everyone's in better form than us. Well, if you look at the last five games, the last three games, that's not actually true. Lincoln's last five, I mean, granted, they've played Hull and Peterborough, to be fair to them, but their last five, I think they lost to Hull, beat, uh, if I'm right here, they beat Shrewsbury, drew at Peterborough, but they were 3-0 up in that game, 
lost to Charlton, and then they drew against Wimbledon. So, actually, to be fair, actually, our last five, we, I mean, I know we both probably only won one of our last five, but I think we, actually, yeah, they might still be in better form than us. Never mind, scratch that. Um, the last three games were in better form than Lincoln, but that's not saying much because we only got, like, four points from possible nine. Um, put it this way, I am relieved that we're not playing one of Blackpool or Oxford in the semis because both of them are on really good run of form. I think I saw on Quest somewhere that I think Oxford have got something like five wins in their last six or six wins in their last seven or whatever it is. Um, although, as a club, it, does, it, it tells you the state of things when Sunderland are now, we're, we're, that we're now wary of Blackpool and Oxford United. No disrespect to those teams, but it's obviously because we're used to much higher than this and, and it's just, it just says how far we've fallen, really. But regardless, those two are in good form. And I'd rather see them to battle it out in the other semi-final. I'm not. That doesn't mean we're going to beat Lincoln. Obviously, we've still got to go out and earn it. But um, you know, I, I think I'm like I said. If you, if you base it just off form, Lincoln's the team I would have picked. But they might argue the same about us. A lot of teams might argue the same that we they want to pick Sunderland. So I'd rather go in on good momentum. But it doesn't automatically mean that you're going to go up because anything could happen in the game. If you take these two legs as an example, say we say we get past Lincoln. And say, I don't know, whoever, say Blackpool get past Oxford. In a one-off final, it could be a completely different thing. Yes, Phil? Right, OK. I'm going to come on to, uh, I'm going to come on to the playoffs in a, in a sec. So okay. I'm going to stop you there and then we don't, uh, we don't go into that. I'll quickly uh, go to the chat uh, before we go. We'll go to Jack next. Uh, Conrad Lee, uh, our friend, is making comments about uh, Jack's, Jack's hair again. So if you want to... <laughs> if, if you want to... Uh, uh, if you want to speak to him in, in our in our group chat, you can uh, roll your obscenities in there if you wish. Um, still going on. Um, uh, Jimmy Dalrumpel uh, says Northampton looked better than us. Uh, it was embarrassing. Uh, what's happened to Jack? Uh, he's been butchered. Oxford will do Blackpool. Uh, all sorts of stuff. Um, where's Jack? Josh says. Uh, Jack... Did it matter that we didn't win then on, on Sunday? Uh, would momentum have helped? Is it just a completely different uh, different scenario now going into the playoffs? Um, not really sure. To be honest, I mean, a win. Well, yeah, a win ultimately would have been probably better for us because you've got that extra confidence, that extra momentum, and just when you're winning, the entire the entire place feels better. But equally, what we could say is, let's who went absolutely all out for the win. We gave it everything. What happens if one of our key players picks up an injury and we go into the playoffs against Lincoln? And yeah, we've got the win, but on the other hand, we've missing we're missing the key player. Who, if we had, we would have had that extra advantage. How important have individuals been for us this season? The likes of Aidan McGeady, Charlie Wyke. I mean, those are the main two. Luke O'Neill in this season. It's you know overall as a side, we've not had a great you know not had a great consistent season. It's been key individual players that have really made the season for us. So if we were to you know. Go out and win that game. If if we got through it unscathed with no other injuries or suspensions, and I'm not saying that like you can't win and not pick up injuries. I'm not saying that like of course, of course, you know, you, most games you win, you're not gonna, not going to pick up any injuries. But um, I think ultimately, yeah, win. Of course, a win would have been better. But on the other hand, as well, just let's consider like like um, we've still got you know how many players we've got available, and we've actually got a decent record against Lincoln this season. Anyway, when we drew one 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 the last time, but before that we beat them four nil, and we have already beat them on penalties one one uh, in the semi final. We've got a good record against Lincoln, like let's not deny that this season. Um, and I think I'm I'm just quite happy that we've got a, a large squad to work 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 with a large one we've had you know for pretty much the entire season, or at least for a long time. Um, right, fair enough. Uh, just very quickly, uh, 94 people uh, watching the stream at the moment, uh, 21 likes. We like to try and hit 100 likes on a Thursday, so we just hit the thumbs up. It'll take you a second to do so. Uh, if you're watching on a mobile device, just... Uh, and you have Only another 79 on, likes to go. Just uh, close uh, that down, you'll see the thumbs up. Just give that a quick bash, you'll be a... And that'll that'll help us also if you're watching and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. It's free to do so. And that will help us out immensely. Um, Conrad says, just realised it's Philly and the three Vs. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, 
don't understand what that means. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lee says, uh, spot on, Conrad. I think he knows what it's about. And Karen's laughing in the other room, so uh, so she knows <laughs> as well. Uh, just very quickly on this, then, uh, before, we, before we move on, Dino, uh, did it matter that we... Uh, Oh. Hello, hello. Is yeah, that Philly? I close. think there's too much Bye, in the background. Well, Dean, well, I think Philly he was going to ask you. I think he was going to ask you. Does it? Did it matter as much in some ways that we didn't win at the weekend? I think that's what it he was going to ask. So Phil can blame me if I'm wrong. It again. It's just. It's just. It wasn't often get it. No. It depends on what your mindset is. Did you want to build momentum for the playoffs? And yeah, it mattered. We didn't win. But if to other people, it was a nothing game, which we just want to get through. Then, then it didn't matter. It just depends on what your mindset was. For me, it was a nothing game, but the fact that we played the team we did makes us feel like that he was trying to get some momentum built for the playoffs, and it just failed miserably because we couldn't win a team that's already relegated. And yeah. bye, Phil. But for me, it's just it's just oh, been a, Phil's already gone. It's just an, it's just been a, to be fair, the last 10, 10 games or whatever it's been, it's been awful. Like I mean. Like it has, let's be fair. I mean, we've lost more than we've won. We've drew a lot. It, it, it reminds me of the first season, bottling it. That's what we've done. We've bottled it. We've lost games. We've drew games. Hello, Phil. Oh, hello. Where's the, oh, the green screen's out. Oh, Phil, you've ruined the illusion. Now people know it's a green screen. I actually thought you had it. Stop saying like SFC fan TV first night live. What a book. Ruined it now. And now he's put his thumbs all over his screen. Oh. <laughs> I think this is Jack getting revenge 